Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic on Sunday and today um, I'm going to have a look at a couple of ordinary star battle puzzles. Um, they are very popular normally on the channel and it's quite a long time since we did any standard ones uh, but a viewer called Wenkatesh sent me a couple from a magazine he was trying to get through and uh, I thought we'd have a go at them just to see how we get on and um, just as I say, because people normally seem to like them a lot, so we're going to give that a try in a moment. Now, I must mention the puzzle hunt. People have been cracking away. I think maybe they saved up the weekend to have a go at it, and quite a few people are getting through it and loving it, I must say. So thanks very much to Stefan and Udukos for creating it, and well done if you have got through it or are getting close. Um, also, just to mention... I believe we're entering the last period in which if you order any of our merchandise, you'll definitely be getting it in time for Christmas. So do have a look at the store tab on the YouTube channel um, for the Christmas stuff and indeed the older merch. So uh, that's all there. So the rules of Star Battle, very simple. Um, there are two stars in every row, column and marked shape and the stars cannot touch each other even diagonally and that's it all we have to do is find them there are no numbers so i'll just be coloring in probably red for stars and green for not stars i'll probably go for um there's no check function on this one just give it a go if you feel like it uh, the link below the video is as always how to play and let's get cracking see how we get on now we've got some very helpful shapes in this one. Five, I can see, Tetris shapes straight away, which give us at least one star each, and most give us more. This S Tetris shape um, is very helpful because we can place two stars in it straight away. The only places you can put stars in without touching each other are on the ends of that. Try it any other way and it will fail. So let, let's then color around those with um, green because the cells around them cannot touch them. And now in these L Tetris shapes, the ends must again have a star in. That is just absolutely mandatory in that shape. You couldn't put one there because it would have to touch the other star in the shape. And you obviously can't put two in the end. So reasonably simple logic to see that and we can again color green around those now we've got one row which has got its two stars so the rest is green one column I can see and now we can study the shapes um, well the, here oh no in fact let's fill in the second uh, star in that bottom L shape uh, that's straightforward enough. Now there's got to be one in the bottom of this one, the uh, Christmas stocking shape, and that means that the other cells in row four are definitely green. And in fact, this cell must be green because wherever it is here, it's touching this one. Um, so now we're getting some headway, even on this ridiculous huge shape, which seems almost too big at the first to possibly be of any use in limiting it to two stars but there are still three white areas there are oh, we've now limited sorry both row three and this l shape are telling us there's a, a star here now we need to get two in the top they could still be there um hmm, okay how do we proceed from here one of these only is a star. Yes, it's got to complete this column five. We need a second star in there. So we can fill that in. One of these is a star, and they all touch this cell, so that can't be. Um, ah, this shape is going to need two stars. So this cell, which would touches all the other cells in the shape, can't possibly be a star. Right, this shape needs two stars, and they're going to complete two of the rows. And that's going to mean that we can only put one star in this area here. 
because we've already got three of the stars for rows six, seven, and eight. And if we're going to put two to complete that shape in there, we can only get a maximum of one into that area, and that means this must be a star to complete the two stars for this shape on the right. So that's green. We've now got the two stars for the final column. One of these must be a star. I'll make them orange for now because I don't know which it is, but they see all of these yellow cells. So wherever the star is in those oranges, these are not stars. And now this cell, this shape has become an L pentomino and we know how that works. We can put one in there and there's definitely one in this side. So that gives us a couple of greens. This one, we color green around it. Oh, we've still got one possibility there. Only one of those can be a star for the row. Ah, we need two stars in the top row. That's a much more straightforward way to go. So we can color in the rest of column one and row one as green. And now suddenly this enormous shape has really got more tractable. This has to be one of its two stars. And the other one has to be in column two. Don't know which cell yet. Don't know which one there are, but we do now. Yes, we do. We've got two stars in this column and two in this one. So the rest of those are green. This orange becomes red. Um, this is the second star in its big ugly shape. This is the second star in its column. The bottom row is full and these are the last two stars. So that's pretty straightforward. I know I'm not the best solver of star battle in the world. I was quite amused by a comment the other day when I was doing the tense puzzle that was a COVID puzzle in, in our iteration. Somebody commented that, uh, no offense, but you're bad at these. And uh, he's not wrong. I'm not brilliant at them. So apologies if uh, you're cracking through these quicker and you find them too trivial. But I'm afraid some of, some of our viewers and myself enjoy them quite a lot. So I'm still going to do them now. Let's have a look at this second one, see if it's any harder. Got a lovely shape here. We can immediately put the two stars in there. Very straightforward. Um, we've got an L-shaped tetromino. So we can put red in there and color around it. We know we're going to have one there. Now, oh, look, there's another of these trominos or triominos that we can fill in. This is a good shape as well, this P pentomino because one of the useful things to know about star battle is a two by two area can only contain a maximum of one star. So there can only be a maximum of one star in there and this must be a star. So we color around it after that. Now, what else have we got? Um, we're gonna put one in there, but we haven't put any in this shape yet. Don't think I can resolve which of those ones are. Ah, oh, we've got another P pentomino, so I can fill in the end again. And that has completed a row. In fact, I see a second row and a column. We can fill all of those in with green. Now we have to find a shape that we've done, yeah, some damage to. This bottom P pentomino, we can fill in the second one there. Oh, and now this shape I don't know it could have one there but you could fit in a couple of stars up here so that's not certain um, again we've still got three areas in the top right shape one two three areas in that one and three areas in this one so they're not certain yet quite how we're going to resolve this let's um, Let's figure out what we're going to do. So one of these two has to be a star. So that can't be. At least one of those two cells has to be a star. Could be both. Um, ah, the end column needs a second star. So that's red. In fact, the penultimate column already had its two stars. That hasn't resolved this top right shape for me yet. Um, hmm. That is still just possible. It would be very difficult with the other cells. In fact, no, it's still, it can still be done. So I'm not 
ruling that out yet. There may be something I should be able to see as impossible. If that was a star, for instance, you'd be down to one in there and one in one of these. But again, that's... Ah, oh, sorry. This column seven, that is. That needs a second star. Right, that's quite helpful. Now... Now, there is only a maximum of one there, so this enormous bottom right shape needs one star in one of those, and that's going to be the last star in its column, and that's very useful. That gives us the second star in the L pentomino at the bottom. We know there's a star there, so that can't be one. This row needs a second star. It's got to be here. Um, one there, so there must be one here. Ah, oh, in fact, this bottom left shape needs a second star, and we can fill that in. Column 3 needs a second star now. So that's straightforward. This row, this must be the second star, so that's not a star. One of these is, don't know which one, don't know which shape it's in yet. One of these. One of these. Okay, interesting. I'm not done yet. Either one of those or that one for the shape in the top right. What am I missing here? One of those for the row. One of those. Only one of all those. One of those. One of those. The rows don't seem all that helpful at the moment. One of those, obviously. Only one of those. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to finish this off. Ah, oh, that should be green because it's touching that. But I don't know that there's a star in one of those two yet. This shape needs two, so it can't have two at the top. So one of its stars must be in one of those cells, and they all see that one. Wow, that's quite complicated for a finishing position. So once that's green, now this huge bottom right shape, let's just highlight the whole shape and consider where its two stars can go. We've only got two areas, that cell and those two. So that one finally is a star. Green there. Actually, I could have done that more simply by considering the column. Um, now... Still not finished. One of those... Sorry, it's probably very obvious to most of you how we are meant to finish this off. Right, these three... Yeah, that's quite nice. These three, one of them at least has to be a star, and they all see this cell. So that's green. That means we can finish the top right with a red there. That does the top column. Ooh, I've just hit the wrong button. Right, and those around it. Now we can do the two stars in column six and finish off there. That's quite a nice puzzle. Um, so thanks to Wenkatesh for those. Um, I hope that was interesting for you. Just a little bit of a diversion for a Sunday evening, not a Sudoku, a puzzle. And as I say, I hope, I hope you find Star Battle fun. I think it's always one of the most entertaining forms. And... Uh, Hope that was of some interest. So thank you very much. If you're a subscriber or if you've sponsored us on Patreon, we really are very grateful and hope to see you soon. Bye for now.